I love doing these live ball drills. Starts with a feed, he hits it to me, I hit back to him, and then I'm gonna go down the line to the volleyer. And then I'll feed the volleyer. And I want it to be they hit the ball to me to get the next ball. Okay. But you have to assign jobs for each person. The baseline is working on the high ball. The volley is working on putting the ball away from me. He's not very doing a very good job, but it's getting better. So the other thing too is you want to do these control drills like this because you need them to have a live ball, but you also need to be able to make it easier or harder for the volley or the baseliner. Okay. I changed this drill because I thought it was getting kind of slow, you know. And the way I like to do drills is I like to make sure that they're they're not winging around a lot. So in my opinion, this was a very slow drill. This was the end of the lesson. We've been working out for an hour and a half, and and they really needed that live ball experience. Okay. The volleyer needs the confidence of the feet and the real shot. Okay, because he, he was trying. He was also working on reading the spin off my racket. We changed the drill around, moved the volley on my side, and the task for the baseline was to hit the ball back to me, and then the next shot goes down the line. You do this because now the volleyer knows the ball is coming, but they're not. It's not a very controlled shot. It's more realistic. You know, one of my best lines is, and it's a very true thing: is you tell your student, "I need to see you in a group lesson, hitting with your peers, because I need to see what you happens." Because when you hit with me. Inadvertently, I will give you the ball that you're gonna get back to me. I will do that subconsciously. If you like high balls, I give you high balls. If you like low balls, I give you low balls. I tend to know exactly where you like the ball, and I will feed that ball to you even when I hit with you live. Okay? Keep it very specific. You want to do this towards the end of your lesson. Um, it's a great drill. It's a little slow. But I only have two students, and my baseliner wanted to work specifically on high balls to his forehand. And my volleyer wanted to work specifically on volleys and putaways. So in this drill, the volleyer is building up confidence against a real shot. Um, earlier, he was building up confidence against a feed and against my shot. But my shot, I was holding it back a little bit. I wasn't hitting as hard as you possibly can hit. That's what you want to do. You want to give him something they can work with to build success and confidence. Uh, I suggest that you do this as a prelude to your last drill of the day. And my last drill of the day, I normally like my students to hit against each other. However, in this scenario, I kept it, uh, I was always engaged in all the drills. Um, depending on the level of your student, you can do that.